Hello, people of the internet. Hope you guys liked that new intro. I know I sure did. And today we're going to be playing this new game I found called Fistful of Frags. I'm sure most of you guys have heard of it already. But if you haven't, it's a free game on Steam. It's in using the Half-Life 2 engine, so I love it. Love it. No microtransactions. The guy who made this is, like, amazing. I'm pretty sure it was just one one guy who made this, but it's pretty good. So, today we're going to be talking about the hatchet in this game, Fistful of Frags. Now, when I came into playing the hatchet in this game, I thought, oh, this is probably just some kind of weapon that you run around with for fun, you know, you're probably not going to get that many kills. And then, when I got a kill with it, I noticed the low amount of notoriety, I hope I pronounced that right, that you get when you kill. It's 8 if you hit the guy with, like, a chop, and then 10 if you hit the guy with a throw, like I just did. So, it, it's actually a very effective weapon, and if you play it how I'm going to teach you, you're going to dominate, alright? got that you're gonna dominate so what you pretty much need to do is you've always got to be on the move you know you can jump behind your enemy and always be strafing if your enemy doesn't know where you are then you can usually get two maybe even three hits off on them and so just jump to jumping helps a lot and actually, I found I was most successful when I was in sort of like an urban area, not inside of a building, which sounds strange at first, but kind of outside-ish, but having a building to run in if someone starts shooting at me. So, most most maps, you can use the hatchet on most maps. I, I love this weapon, by the way. So, to kill someone, you can either hit them three times sometimes it's four times too if they're at full health you hit them three or four times or you could throw the hatchet at them two times or you could do one throw and one hit that combo right there that is amazing so what I usually do is I run up, jump around, you hit them with the hatchet once, and then you kind of strafe back a little, and then you just chuck the hatchet at them, and they're dead. Guaranteed. Even if they're full health, they're just dead. So that that's a good tactic. Um, there's a few setups you can use with this too that I seem to like. I think that they're good combinations. So, if you want, you could you could mix these up if you want. This is just what I usually prefer to use. So, you can use the dynamite and the knuckles. That's a pretty good setup. So, what you do in that setup is you you don't be afraid to like you can still throw your hatchet and then you got the knuckles to back yourself up and then you also have the boot. So this is like great for one one <laughs> that was pretty funny so yeah you can use that on one on one setups and i find it pretty good and this is the one that i usually use you can use dynamite and oh oh i messed that last one up i meant the knives and the boot not the dynamite and the boot yeah i said that right the knives and the boot because then when you throw your hatchet, you got your knives to stab them with, too, and do a ton of damage. Sorry about that. So, here's the setup that I usually use. I use the dynamite, as you guys are seeing right now, and I use the knuckles. So, essentially, what you do with this setup is, if you see a group of people, you can use that dynamite, and then you can throw your hatchet at someone. And then you could punch them with your knuckles. I always use the knuckles. Knuckles or knives. They're the best for this setup. Because you're going to be throwing your hatchet if you want to get that combo. And when you throw that hatchet, I, I miss a lot with it. Sorry, sorry if you just heard a mower in the background. 
Uh, it's pretty annoying. Don't worry about that though. So, use the dynamite and the knuckles. And you always want to use the knuckles or the knives so that you can hit a guy after you throw your hatchet. Because you actually miss a lot. I edited most of the parts where I miss out. So, uh, just so you know, I'm not as good as a player as I look. So, you're gonna use your knuckles and dynamite to deal with groups, and your knives and boot to deal with like one on one. So, yeah, I mean, you use a hatchet, you dominate. It's a great weapon. Very solid. Good setup. Alright, that's about it. <laughs> I bet you guys love that knuckles kill, that's why I always use the knuckles or the knives. Alright, Venus fly, out.